To clean your mosaic, try, if you can submerge it in warm soapy water, and when I say soapy, I'm just using washing up liquid. And then I have these wire brushes. They're quite stiff, but more like a suede brush than they are a barbecue cleaning brush. And I'm going to give this a really good scrub, but I want to try and get the hot water onto it if I can. And then rinse it off. Don't forget to give the back a clean as well. Um, and you can use a sort of bathroom cleaner or something on the backing if it's too dirty. And with your single sided razor blade, just check if you've got any glue like here sitting on top of the glass, you can just scrape that off. If you can get the thing into the hot water, that will actually help loosen it quite a lot. So I'm just gonna check over it now. It's a little bit there, tiny bit of glue there, bit on the fox glove here, a little bit here. And just go over it, checking for any glue that is on the upper surface. There's a little bit there. And you sometimes need to angle it to see it. A little bit of extra grout can come out there. Okay happy with that so again another wash oh sorry just missed a bit there look okay now just give it another scrub in the hot water now next I'm going to show you how to just check the edges make sure they're not sharp You need to check the edges here just to make sure they're not sharp and the corners. So I have a diamond pad here, which is specially for glass. And that again is for running up and down the sides of a glass when you've cut it to take off any sharp parts. It is a specialist item, so a little bit expensive, but this is just an ordinary sharpening stone that you would use on a kitchen knife. So the main thing to do with glass is keep it wet. So pop that in put this into the water and just run it up and down the edges like that. If the glass is dry when you do this, it can chip it and leave quite a rough feeling edge, which is a little bit sharp. So then just gently, So you don't need to invest in an expensive grinder to do this. Just a cheap little stone like that will do it. And you'll get one in most kitchen shops. Or in hardware stores as well. There we go. That's done. Now, the next thing is the sharp glass here on the surface. So we need to dry this first. Okay. What I do here, because sometimes these little points can be quite sharp or they can be slightly different in thickness so they stand up a little bit. You can do it with your hand and you will find the sharp parts but my suggestion is you use a very soft cloth like a yellow duster, a piece of muslin or even a piece of old silk and if you run it over the surface anything that's sharp now if I pull this you might be able to see what I'm talking about. That duster has caught there on the tip of, I don't know if it's the leaf I think which is standing slightly higher so again you get your little stone 
and just very gently take out that point. And, then, and now it runs clear. Same thing, go over the whole thing just with this soft cloth. Okay, that appears to be the only one that was giving us any trouble. And now you know that it's safe to run your hand up and down and you won't cut yourself. Okay, there you go. That is your completed garden mosaic.